Tamish Bond says he's surprised at the early exit of his former crewmate, Eric Murray, who announced his retirement from rowing yesterday. They were a remarkable duo. They were unbeaten since 2008, winning 69 Olympic World Championship and World Cup races in a row, but both had taken a year's break before uh, following their Olympic gold in Rio, so following their Olympic gold in Rio, with Bond focusing on cycling. Hamish Bond told our reporter Joe O'Brien, while he's not going anywhere, he was a bit taken aback at Murray's announcement. I would say I was a little bit surprised, um, but you know, we'd, we'd made a decision to, to take 12 months away from the sport, uh, but obviously Eric has um, come to a decision about his future earlier than, than what we'd initially planned, and, and, and I respect his, his decision. You know, if, you're, if you're not excited and motivated by the prospect of, um, of training and, and, uh, and competing on a daily basis, then, then there's no point uh, putting yourself through it because you're not going to get the su success you're after. And how would you describe the past eight years working with Eric? Yeah, I mean, overall, in terms of results, we've, we've achieved have far exceeded anything that I dared to dream. Um, and, and that's been phenomenal. Our, our partnership has been founded on, I guess, a mutual respect of each other's abilities. Um, you know, Eric was capable of some, some things physically which, which I just couldn't match. And, and that was, I guess, the beauty of our partnership. Uh, and that there was no dominant force. We, we both had things that we were better at and, and different attributes that we brought to the table. And uh, we were able to combine those into a, uh, a crew and combination that was perhaps better than, uh, better than the parts themselves. And can you single out a highlight in that time, a proudest moment? Well, I guess uh, it would have to be the London Olympics with our first gold medal. Um, you know, to, to get it right on the day, you have one day every four years for six minute six minute race where you have to make sure you turn it on. So there's a lot of pressure associated with that. Uh, but the other mo thing that we're most proud of, I think, is, is the fact that we went, you know, 69 races over eight years unbeaten. Um, that takes an incredible amount of consistency and, and what people perhaps, well, they may not understand is that the consistency of our results in racing was just born out of the consistency of the, of the daily grind here at Lake Karapira. You know, it was that day in, day out consistency in training um, which was reflected in our racing. And you're known to have quite contrasting personalities. And did, were there times when you did clash, when you wanted to throw them overboard? Uh, yeah, yeah, there were times that we didn't get on, but that's, I think, you know, that's part of any any relationship, you think of any business relationship, it's much the same. Uh, at the end of the day, any ideas or things that we clashed over, I guess it was just what that individual thought would make, uh, person would uh, thought would make us go faster come come race day. So when you look at it from from that um, perspective, and uh, it's just what what they'll think will make the boat go faster, then um, you know you, you learn to entertain each other's ideas. And and one thing we never did, you know, any disagreements we had on the water, we left it there. You know, once we got off the water and went home, um, we we sort of forgot about it and came back the next day fresh fresh to challenge again. And so what does this mean for your future? Are you going to stick with rowing or are you looking at cycling, perhaps the Commonwealth Games there? Um, yeah, I'll just see where, where it takes me. So I've, t I've taken, I guess, the opportunity of 12 months away from rowing to uh, try and discover what my potential would be in cycling. Uh, I'm enjoying the process at the moment. I'm motivated and excited by what I'm doing. Uh, the training's a challenge and uh, I'm heading overseas to the UK and Europe for a couple of months to, to continue that process and, and, and hopefully I'll come back a better rider. And um, I just want to, uh, I guess, try and get a handle on how good I can be and then I can make an objective decision, I guess, around uh, what, what I'm most excited by and, and where I think uh, I should put my efforts uh, going forward. So no immediate thoughts of retirement despite this announcement? No, I'm not. I'm not going anywhere and, and, and announcing my retirement. I guess I see myself not necessarily as a rower or a cyclist, just as an athlete at the moment. Uh, so I happen to be an athlete that's cycling at the moment, but there's nothing to say I, I can't be an athlete that rows in the future. Hamish Bond talking to uh, our reporter Joe O'Brien. Just to repeat, Hamish Bond and Eric Murray were undefeated over 69 consecutive events. Have there ever been partners like those two when they were rowing together?